On 1954, Bikini Atoll became the site again of a series of nuclear tests in an operation code named Castle. The breakthrough in using dry fusion fuel instead of liquid hydrogen was tested. The most notable of the tests was the first shot, code named Bravo, conducted on March 1, 1954. The yield is initially estimated to be around 6,000 kilotons, or 6 megatons. The servicemen saw their bones through their flesh. They felt like they were being bloaterged even from the allegedly safe distance from ground zero. It felt like the end of the world. They underestimated the contribution of lithium to the resulting yield of the nuclear test. The resulting yield is 15 megatons. To make matters worse, the wind pattern, originally thought to be westward, turned eastward, thus blanketing both native Marshallese islanders and U.S. servicemen outside the declared danger zone with radioactive fallout. Castle Bravo turned into the worst nuclear disaster in the U.S. history. The misfortune did not end there. A Japanese fishing vessel was also blanketed by the fallout from the nuclear test, turning the worst nuclear disaster in the U.S. history to also a diplomatic crisis with Japan. One of the crew eventually died from complications. The story of Japanese fishermen dying due to an attack from a radioactive monster was later appropriated to the plot of a movie released later that year in Japan. The movie was titled Godzilla. <laughs>